dynamic, nimble, and reliable. Only three of the many aspects that characterize the BMW R51 III, making it an absolute highlight of motorcycle history. But in the early 50s, this machine didn't just make the hearts of the racers beat faster. The clientele were invariably bikers to the bone. These people wanted by all means the dynamic and the pleasure of two wheels and chose the motorcycle before any car. The acceleration, the handling, there was hardly an automobile that could compare. You were faster, and when you did see taillights on the Autobahn, they were from a select few sports cars or heavy limousines. In 1951, the BMW R51 III took over for the R51 II, with many innovations. Chain-driven camshafts were replaced with central sprockets. The existing battery ignition deviated to a magnetic ignition, powered directly by the camshaft. Engine and heart of this sporty machine is a 500 cubic centimeter two-cylinder boxer motor with 18 kilowatt, which influenced many following models. It concerns the first newly developed BMW boxer motor after World War II. The chassis, however, is from 1938, the first motorcycle chassis from BMW with rear-wheel suspension. The functionality, the drivability, and therefore the joy of driving has always been our focus. In the 50s, not only individuals and race drivers, but also many other clients could profit therefrom. An important customer of the R51 were the police, foreign and domestic. We already delivered in the 50s to more than 100 countries, and the public authorities appreciated the smoothness, reliability and therefore the low maintenance cost of the boxer models. Just as well tried and proven is also the design of the BMW R51 III, minimal and functional. The triangle form goes back to the 20s. This base form, also used and minimally changed for the BMW R51 III, set benchmarks and stood as the basis for all models up to 1969. From the beginning on, they found a form, optimal for that time, which proved itself for more than four decades into the future and still set standards regarding drivability. Charming and typical of the times, the so-called fishtail exhaust tip. BMW produced 18,420 models of the R51 III. That is a comparatively high number. That is also due to the motorcycle boom, where it fit optimally, experienced in Germany after the Second World War. At 2,750 D mark, it was in times of compact cars like the Isetta, not a bargain. But for those who gladly left everything behind them on the Autobahn, this jewel of BMW motorcycle history couldn't be passed up.